Hello, my name is Larry Merck and I'm the GIMP Wizard. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use GIMP in order to remove items from a photograph using the heel selection and then we're also going to touch up the photo a little bit probably using the clone tool. So here we've got a model on the left who's got a bra on and as you can see in the photo on the right I've edited the photo and the bra is no longer there. So I'm going to first mention that the original photo is a copyright photo. It's from a member of DeviantArt.com. Their username is B-A-I-N-E-A-N-N. -E -N, and I will put a link to their DeviantArt location and a link to this original picture. So you can check it out. I would definitely go and see all their photos are really super photos. And they also do their own sketches. So take a look at their site or their uh, profile there and check it out and we'll go ahead and let me also just mention that while I am editing this photo I'm not fixing it or improving it all I'm doing is giving you a tutorial on how to remove the bra using the heel tool and all that I'm not in any way trying to improve this picture I think it's an awesome picture the original way it was alright so let's go right on and see what we can do so here we have the original picture and we have it in GIMP which is of course a free editor so you're welcome to try doing these things on your own the first thing I'm going to do is maybe enlarge it a little bit so that we can focus in on the area we're working on. So I'm going to press number two. So that doubles the magnification. And I'm going to drag this up a little bit. So we'll see what we're working on here. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do is select the bra. And we could try to do a select and do the whole bra in one shot. But there's really no need to. It's often a lot easier just to do it in sections and sometimes it even comes out better. So I'm just going to take the rectangle select tool and probably for this video I might do this a little fast and everything's not going to be perfect but it's going to give you the idea of how to do it and my final picture that I'll put uh, is one I spent more time on so it'll be more precise. But here's the key. is You select an area and then what you do is you go to filters and then we're going to go to enhance and down here you should have heel selection now, if you don't have that, then you're going to have to download the resynthesizer, and there's plenty of information on how to do that. Now, you can choose how much of an area you want to sample, whether you want to sample all around, or vertically, or horizontally, and the filling order. But if everything's working, just say OK. Certainly, on something like this, it would make more sense to sample vertically, and then on the vertical stra straps, oops, on the vertical strap sample horizontally but you don't even have to do that this should work just fine the way it is so we'll just say OK here and it takes a second to do the work and as you see it actually removed things quite well there and now what I would tend to do is just grab some parts of the vertical strap make another selection here maybe and then now all I have to do is say control F just says redo the same filter that we just used and as you can see it's working quite reasonably if you do possibly a little smaller areas it might uh, be more precise but again I want to go fairly quickly for the purposes of the tutorial so we'll try to get this thing done uh, and not take too much time so we just keep pressing control F each time we make a selection and so now I might just grab a little bit bigger areas because we don't again want to spend too much time being that this is a tutorial but we keep hitting control F and so there it didn't do a perfect job but again it doesn't hurt you can just uh, redo the area it's no big deal and say control F let's do a little bit more as I said just uh, so you don't have to wait too long for us to get this tutorial done we'll go control F here we'll try to do maybe the whole top area here and control F alright now we've gotten to the edge area so let's try actually going out into the background a bit to get everything here like that and say control F and you'll see sometimes it works out beautifully sometimes it doesn't look at that it actually did a great job and didn't mess up the edges often it will and that's what we're going to show you is how to fix that reasonably um, but we'll try this one 
and then we'll do control F and see how it comes out. You know what, this is amazing. This actually is coming out so well that we barely have to do anything. Hopefully it will mess up uh, the area up here so that we can show you how to fix it. So let's uh, take our ellipse tool because this is more of an ellipse area here. And so we'll select that. And now we'll say control F. Oh my gosh, it's looking like uh, I'd hardly even need to touch this one up. It's coming off so beautifully off and it will end up with a big hole and a gap or something. So let's do control F here. And so if we take a look, that's got a little ridge there that doesn't look too good. But you know what, this is unbelievable how accurately everything did come out. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to press the number three. So let's go zoom in a little bit more, maybe even four, just to try to show you. Oh my gosh. It actually uh, looks quite good, so I wouldn't really even probably have to touch this up a whole lot. But let me just show you what what one would normally do to in order to touch things up a little bit. Let's go back to three zoom. So right here, you can see that there's a little ridge going down here. So what one would normally do is use the clone tool. We'll click on clone right here. You've got to choose what brush you want. Usually, I do a 75 hardness brush and then I don't like there to be any spacing I want to draw smoothly with no spacing so I set that down there and that's about all we're gonna have to do and then you can choose the size of your brush but let's just leave it this size now what it's gonna do is clone from one spot and put it in a new spot so we're gonna be fixing here so what I'll start is right on the edge of our skin right here and you hold down the control and click to set the source and then we go down to here where we want to clone it to and then you just start drawing right there and it's going to clone that upper area to right there and then you would in theory be fixing I think I uh, was off by a little bit, let me undo that and the point is just to get this right along the same edge line that we had up there there we go alright so now we can see we made that edge very smooth and it looks perfect. I can press 1 so we don't zoom in anymore. And right along here one might want to fix that also but you can use the same method that we used there. And that's how we uh, remove items and of course you can remove any item you want. You can uh, just remove people from pictures or other things. So I hope this uh, gave you some idea how to use the heel selection tool and the clone tool and go ahead and have fun editing your photos. Check out all my stuff at LarryMerk.DeviantArt.com. Thank you. Bye.